Welcome or welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm making quick and easy chipotle bowls. I start off with my onion and pepper lineup per usual. Here's the main ingredient and that is chopped chicken. You don't have to buy it chopped, but because I've been chopping over half my life, I did not feel like it. And again, it's quick and easy. That was me soaking the chicken in some salt water. You can clean yours however you choose. This is my seasoning lineup. And to start off my seasonings, I actually put that garlic paste on there first. It helped all those seasonings stick. I went to church and let this sit in the refrigerator after I mixed it all together. So it kind of marinated the chicken and it had a great flavor you don't have to do that but that's what i did here are the canned ingredients that we use for this dish and again this is quick and easy chipotle bowls we just use one can of corn pineapples was on the side those pencil beans you'll see how nicely they cook later and those green chilies i put in the pencil beans here is some guacamole. Um, those were peppers that just went by. That's pico de gallo. And again, you can use whatever toppings you like. I'm just showing you what we use. And again, here is some already shredded lettuce. You can chop ahead of lettuce, but again, quick and easy is the name of the game for this Sunday. Here's the cheeses that we used. We started off with the Mexican four cheese and when you're cooking your chicken, it's important not to put too much oil in it. So I just put enough to uh, spread thinly over the bottom of that pan. This is the first batch. And I cooked it in two separate batches because I wanted my chicken to cook thoroughly and evenly. Yep. First batch over in the pan. And you'll see me start on the second batch here in a minute and again i did it separate like that so i can make sure that my chicken cooked thoroughly i could have cooked it all together but i didn't want anyone to bite into a piece of undone chicken that would not have been pleasurable at all so here i am just transferring this chicken into this pan and again you don't have to do this you can do anything your way in your kitchen this is just how i chose to do this i washed this pot out because i didn't want any excess oil on the chicken so i washed this pot out and i transferred it back into this pot which you'll also see um in a moment in a moment it filled out this pan pretty nicely pretty nicely. I wanted everybody to be able to have more than enough chicken in their chipotle bowls. All right, so I'm almost done dumping that. You see the seasonings on every piece of that chicken. I really think that garlic paste helped that uh, seasoning to stick, in my opinion. So here, what you'll see next is some cooked rice that I pre-cooked. Look at these pencil beans, y'all. Look at those pencil beans. I put that can of chilies in there. You see them? Different types of onions. And then I have smoked turkey meat in there. That's just a can of rinsed corn. I just rinsed the corn, dumped it in there with a little bit of butter. And here is all of the toppings. And again, whatever toppings that you like, that's fine. This is just what we use. So again, to go over the toppings, that was lettuce. That's our guac yellow banana peppers, pineapples, a mixture of onions, jalapeno peppers, and pico de gallo. And there's our cheese. All right now. All right. And here are some images of everybody's bowls. Well, there's my husband's bowls. You'll see their bowls in a moment. That's my husband's bowl. And that is my husband enjoying his bowl. And this is the rest of my family. We had such a pleasant relaxing Sunday, wholesome Sunday with family and friends. That was Trey and his girlfriend. That's my baby, Noah. That's Mia. That's Jordan. And that's Zakil. And as you can see, everybody was just enjoying each other's company and enjoying the food. Those two over there, we were just so happy to see them. They were recently in a car accident. The Lord is kind. They are all right. This was just some extra sides that I cooked because it helps me out not to have to cook every day during the week. So we had leftovers besides everybody wanted me to make some chicken wings. So I did. I just melted some butter and put some 
Cajun seasoning with that. And I put that over that and put that back in the oven for a little while. And what's a Sunday dinner without some collard greens? So I made some greens here on the side. That was Natalia's bowl. I don't know whose bowl that was. And again, that was my husband's bowl. Enjoy and never forget to be satisfied by the Lord.